Hi there. Welcome to Apple World Hello, TikTok. I go by David Levinson. A once effective entrepreneur is presently resting in my vehicle. For those that don't have the foggiest idea, I was an independent business person who established my own new companies, one of which Kim Kardashian took. Kim Kardashian is by and by getting uncovered for being a trickster, and this time a vagrant accused Kim of taking his business, compromising him, and taking each and every dollar he had in his possession. Presently, this isn't whenever we're first catching wind of Kim misleading individuals out of their cash, yet making somebody destitute and afterward benefiting off of their thought. That is simply malevolent. Give us anything that you have. What's more, in the event that it doesn't work out for you to be involved, we have this in our pocket to get you good and gone, assuming we need it. We have constantly used every one of the assets. Set them ablaze. They also did that. Yet, who is this man and how precisely did Kim trick him? What's more, does this mean karma is at long last finding Kim for every one of the lives she's supposedly destroyed en route to the top? We should separate them. I'm battling for myself. Yet for anyone who has at any point been swindled by the Kardashians or anyone overall who has been cheated by obscure strategic policies. This is for every one of you. One more day, another con artist story, including Kim Kardashian. Kim and her family have been getting uncovered left and right of late, as up until recently, never before heard tales about their ascent to distinction are beginning to become known. To give you some specific circumstances, Kim was uncovered for taking and misleading different events before. Back in 2008, Kogyak Norwood's mother, Sanja, sued Kim after she found that Kim utilized Liquor's visa to make unapproved purchases at Kardashian stores. And afterward, Bloomberg Businessweek as of late distributed an elite report uncovering that the FBI addressed Kim over her cozy relationship with dubious Malaysian money manager and outlaw Joe Lowe. Back in 2009, Kim celebrated with Lowe in a Las Vegas club, and toward the night's end, Loe gave Kim a garbage sack brimming with $100 greenbacks, adding up to $250,000. Furthermore, as per the FBI reports, Loe likewise later gave Kim another $100,000 in advance of her wedding to Chris Humphreys in addition to an extra $305,000 in real money. And keeping in mind that Kim never made sense of why this man was so liberal to her, fans have been estimating that he was Kim's friendly benefactor and that she was fundamentally getting compensated to invest energy with him. Be that as it may, the debate didn't end there. In October 2022, news broke that Kim had to pay $1.26 million after the U.S. Protections and Trade Commission found that she had gotten $250,000 for publicizing a crypto plot on her Instagram without uncovering she'd been paid for the special post. In the interim, Kim's mom, Kris Jenner, was likewise blamed for running a trick through her congregation. Back in 2009, Kris helped establish her own congregation called California People Group Church. What's more, there's been a ton of speculation in the media that the congregation was made for tax avoidance purposes. Other than that, the Kerr Jenners have likewise, as of late, wound up at the center of charges that they benefited from $600 million from Brittany Lance's conservatorship. Kim and her family have close connections to Britney's previous director, Lou Taylor, who allegedly engineered Britney's conservatorship. Furthermore, as per one viral Twitter string, the Kardashians might have utilized their associations with Taylor to stash $600 million from Britney's bequest. Furthermore, presently, on top of this, Kim is facing charges that she misled her previous colleague out of millions of dollars, leaving him poverty-stricken and destitute. We're discussing David Liebenson, a once fruitful business person and father of four, who's presently compelled to rest in his vehicle after Kim purportedly took his business thoughts for the Kimoji application. David, as of late, became a web sensation on TikTok after he posted a video of himself strolling the streets of LA and holding up a sign advancing his site. Kim Kardashian demolished mylife.com all things considered, Kim. What would you have in mind? I don't actually have the foggiest idea. I haven't mulled over everything. I simply know that when I truly have confidence in something, I'm, you know, John will make it happen. I couldn't want anything more than to collaborate with you folks and truly make this super, very enormous. Something's happening with the Kardashians and I could do without it. I could do without it. I'm letting you know, folks, that there's a thing going on. As per David's site, 
He's the first designer of the Kimoji application, and Kim took his idea, defrauded him out of his cash, and afterward utilized her legitimate group to kick him while he was down. Presently, this all began back in 2014, when Kim was a client of an application called Sensorgram, which David had helped establish. As per David Kim's companion, Jonathan connected with him, imagining Kim was keen on a business organization. What's more, when David later addressed Kim on the telephone, they set up a gathering. So we began an application named Sensorgram for ourselves. However, we put it on the application store to check whether it would be helpful for others. What's more, we promoted it to as many high-profile pages as could be allowed to check whether they would, you know, use it and let the news out. Thus, Kardashian had sent her companion, Jonathan Shaban, through direct messages to connect and attempt to check whether we could accomplice. What's more, he tossed her raid out. Also, it was only a matter of time before we could actually move past that first contact. However, at that point, soon after, he arrived and said her game, her Hollywood game, was doing enormously, two or three hundred million. Furthermore, they truly needed to talk. Thus, he set it up for me to converse with her and for her to call me on my telephone. The following day, David got together with Kim and Kris Jenner in Calabasas and tried out for them the thought of Kimoji. What's more, he supposedly even showed them a portion of his idea for the application. Kim cherished the thought, and as per David, they consented to go into a 5050 organization to create the application. Following a couple of days, David got a call from Kim inquiring as to whether he had recorded a brand name for Kimoji, and when he told her he hadn't, she proposed getting her group to do it for him. Kim's group petitioned for the brand name that very day. In any case, David later got another call from Kim, inquiring as to whether his group was sharing confidential data about her. As David made sense of it, he never shared any confidential data, and the main thing that happened was that his colleague at the time had messaged a companion to let them know they would join forces with Kim. Nonetheless, this was enough for Kim to blame David for attacking her own security. What's more, soon after, David got a letter from Kim's legal counselor, Martin Vocalist, taking steps to sue him for $5 million in the event that he didn't give up the brand name to Kim Amochikan and the restrictive IP for his application Sensogram. As per David, he and his group were all youthful money managers and had never managed this sort of danger previously. David made sense of the fact that the letter from Kim's legal advisor unnerved his two colleagues, and they marked the delivery for Kim to have the option to utilize Kimoji with full possession. Notwithstanding, David himself didn't sign the delivery to Kim in light of the fact that he felt there was something dubious about the entire thing. An instant message that evidently my accomplice Ryan had sent should have been private to one of his companions, advanced toward Jonathan Shaban, and Kim kept that in her pocket, I surmise, to use against us since it penetrated her protection, she said. Despite the fact that there was nothing unsafe, yet it just gave her that reason, I presume. What's more, since David had adequate proof to demonstrate the first thought was his incorporating recorded discussions with Kim, he wound up documenting a $100 million claim-blaming Kim for thought robbery. I simply know everybody I know would utilize this. Also, what would you have in mind? At the end of the day, I don't actually have any idea. I haven't mulled over everything. I simply know that when I truly trust in something and I'm, you know, down to get it done, I couldn't want anything more than to join forces with you folks and truly make this, like, super, very enormous. However, at that point, Kim got her legal counselors working on it and they countersued David for more than $300 million. What's more, since David couldn't stand to proceed with such a huge claim, he withdrew. In any case, even after his claim was tossed out, Kim Chris actually wouldn't let him be. What's more, they requested that he repay them $400,000 for legal advisors' time and monetary contributions. Other than that, David claims that Kim likewise obstructed one more patent he had petitioned for, a cycle that Instagram currently uses to eliminate remarks consequently. You know, had her obstruction not become possibly the most important factor in this entire circumstance, it would have been something that we would have gotten for all stages of eliminating remarks consequently. Furthermore, this is 2014. So this is before Instagram sort of began embedding that channel all alone. Precisely. As per David, Kim never communicated any regret or even made sense of her part in this impedance. And she likewise never made sense of why she examined his IP with Kevin Systrom, the previous president of Instagram, 
without his and his group's authorization after she marked it NDA to get the patent record. David made sense of the fact that he over and over again attempted to prosecute him for burglary and extortion. In any case, he was weak against Kim's lawful group and wound up taking on two responsibilities to repay the $400,000 he owed Kim and Chris. Furthermore, David lost his entire life's reserve funds. His, his better half separated from him, and he currently lives in his vehicle. David has now begun a crowdfunding effort, and he's attempting to bring issues to light about Kim and her obscure strategic policies. Furthermore, he will probably revitalize any remaining little business visionaries and creatives from everywhere in the world who have been defrauded by Kim and the Kardashians over the long term.